Jesus said unto them, Very, 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 I unto you, except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. That life that they want to eat from bread and wine, the rebranded Holy Communion, Jesus is telling them, It is not in elements, it's me. I am the bread that gives life. Whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life. And I will raise him up at the last day. For crying out loud, this is a figure of speech. It's not literal. Look at 55 and 56. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Next verse. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me, and I in him. Is it getting clear? That means that bread is available in the new creation. So he's talking to them now as if it is happening, but it is post resurrection. That's the way Jesus spoke. That means this will be available in redemption. Look at 57 and 58 of John chapter 6. As the living father has sent me and I live by the father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. 58. This is that bread which came down from heaven. Not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. But he that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Now, how do you receive everlasting life? That whosoever so believing is eating. When you believe the gospel, you just ate Jesus' blood. You just ate Jesus' flesh. And what is the resultant effect of that? Everlasting life. It's not some bread from a bakery and some ribena from one factory in Ogun State that has manufactured an expiry date that they give you in small, small cups in church. And you, you know even the thing that bothers me about that thing they call the Holy Communion is they said a sinner cannot eat it and a sinner cannot drink it. But who did Jesus die for? The people that ought to eat the communion, if the communion is really a serious matter, it should be unbelievers. And when they eat it, they should be born again. But because that's not what he was talking about, that is why when we now preach and they believe the preaching, they are born again. Because when we are preaching, we are feeding them the body and the blood. So this is the daily bread Jesus was talking about. That's why the next thing he now says in Matthew 6, 12, after saying, give us this day our daily bread, he now says, you forgive us our trespasses because the daily bread carries the forgiveness of sin. You forgive us our trespasses because this bread is our redemption from sin. And because now you forgive us our trespasses, then you lead us not into temptation. Rather, you deliver us by redemption from the evil one. 